We know that exercise is important for good health, but a new survey finds that many of us aren't so good at doing what we know we should. And a big part of the problem could be chronic pain. The Leger Marketing Survey finds that more than 8.5 million Canadians expect to be less physically active 20 years from now. Dr. William Benson is a rheumatology consultant and says often people mistakenly believe that aches and pains commonly associated with osteoarthritis are a natural part of aging. This expectation that it's old age, live with it, has changed. We used to feel that osteoarthritis was just an aging process. Now we know it's an inflammatory process that can be managed by many of the drugs that we currently have and limited by changing your lifestyle. But pain and physical limitations aren't the only barriers to daily physical activity. 56% of adults say they don't have time for daily physical activity. Another 26% cite money as a limiting factor. The biggest barriers for Zoomers, the boomers with zip, is that they don't have enough time in their day uh, sometimes to allow to do that physical activity to give them a better quality of life. I think what they have to realize is to get that 30 minutes of activity a day doesn't mean you have to go to a gym. It means that you can do it at the grocery store, you can do it when you walk to work, you can do it playing with your grandchildren, but you can get it at little points during the day and it will contribute to a better physical well-being. Like thousands of Canadian seniors, Mary Lou Douglas is living with osteoarthritis. I think the best way to manage the pain is to discuss it with your doctor and find out what he has to um, tell you about medications that you should be on and discuss what exercises you should be doing. And I think it's a good idea to join uh, a facility like we have, the Center for Activity and Aging. And uh, then you are doing some walking in the gym and some strength training as well. And all of this helps you manage the pain. The study was spearheaded by a task force of the Active Living Coalition for Older Adults, Canada's Association for the 50 Plus, and Patient Partners in Arthritis. The full report is available at alcoa.ca or carp.ca. Sherry Demetarko reporting.